Thank you very much, Mr Deputy Speaker. The comments that I shall make are provided from the perspective of county areas, both as an MP in the county of Suffolk and as chairman of the APPG for counties. It needs to be welcomed that the government have listened to the concerns of county councils, including Suffolk County Council and the county council's network, and have used the local government funding settlement to provide further funding to councils in recognition of the additional cost pressures that they have absorbed as part of their response to COVID-19 at a time when the pandemic, pandemic is also putting enormous strain on their income. That said, there is a significant funding gap that predates the pandemic that remains like an elephant in the room, which the settlement has not addressed. This can only be properly tackled by completing the fair funding review. Shortly before the announcement of the spending review and the provisional settlement, the County Council's network, representing 36 English local authorities serving county areas, published the results of their autumn budget survey. This showed that for 2021-22, only one in five of their member councils were confident that they could deliver a balanced budget this coming year without dramatic reductions to services. In this context, the settlement and the further, further announcement that the Secretary of State has made today are to be welcomed as they head off this nightmare and provide some certainty by ensuring a rollover of all existing grants for councils alongside some additional resources to meet the underlying pressures on council budgets that predated the impact of COVID-19. However, this is only temporary respite. Councils still face a significant funding gap that they will need to close next year. The local, in, local tax income guarantee scheme is to be welcomed as it provides essential support to local authorities suffering losses in tax income in 2020-2021. As, as a result, councils will be able to deliver balanced budgets in 21-22 without dramatic reductions to services. However, it must be pointed out that the scheme is less favourable for council tax losses compared to those from business rates, as county councils receive a much higher share of council tax income compared to their share of, of business rates income, county councils will be disadvantaged. Mr Deputy Speaker, this settlement gets us through an incredibly challenging and highly unusual time for local government, but it does not address that elephant in the room, the funding gap that predated the pandemic. This can only be tackled by implementing the fair funding review that has potential to deliver fairer settlements for councils all around the country, whether they be rural or metropolitan, whether they're from the north, the south, the west and the east, and also for coastal communities such as Lowestoft and Waveney. I therefore urge the Minister in his summing up to confirm that a final consultation and indicative allocations under the new formula will be published this year in 20, 2021 so that the review can be implemented in 2022-2023. Thank you very much, Mr Deputy Speaker. Anthony Higginbottom. Thank you very much, Mr Deputy Speaker. I'm very grateful for being called. And